All right, so we've got another big week ahead of us in Diamond Dynasty. I feel like I'm saying that like every week now, but it's true, man. I mean, we're into September and we're still getting content, like relevant content every single week. And you know, you just gotta give props to the content team. Say whatever you want about gameplay, but when it comes to content, SDS has proven that they're kind of the best in the game at it right now, in my opinion. So uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to go ahead and give you guys this video to give you like seven things you should look for this week so you kind of know what to prepare for and how you can set yourself up for success when a lot of these things do come out later. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First thing is that we will be getting brand new headliners packs today. Yes, on Monday they will be releasing a couple new headliner cards in the brand new headliners packs. I don't even know what set we're on at this point. It's like 20 thousand I don't know uh, but yeah we will be getting new headliners packs they might even be live at the time you're watching this video this video is coming out around like 12 1 Pacific so they might even be in the game already so uh, if you haven't seen them yet make sure to go to Twitter or just hop on the game later and check them out and see who they are the last one we got Robbie Cano and we got Carlos Gonzalez I really hope we get a similar set because those are pretty good headliners I think people were excited about both of those cards I really hope we can get kind of a similar uh, style of card in this one so those will be live today probably already live by the time you're watching this actually it just said that new show shop items are available so I think the headliners packs actually just showed up at the time I'm making this video who are they let's see 99 Buster Posey what oh my god I'm just what I thought for sure this was gonna be quash tags player reward for his partner moments 99 Buster Posey and headliners holy smokes dude Okay, pretty good hitting. I'm gonna move my face cam up here so you guys can see the rest of them. 107, 19 contact, 74, 87 power, 112 vision, 90 fielding, 40 speed. This card looks nasty. Oh, we just got that Jason Kendall, but this card looks nasty. I'm not even gonna lie. The other one is gonna be a 97 overall Luis Gonzalez. 108, 98 contact, 92, 84 power, 113 vision, middle of the road fielding, 72 speed. He can play right field too, but he's got no arm, so uh, wow. All right, Luis Gonzalez and Buster Posey. These are the new headliners, man, so let me know what you guys think. Do you like the Buster Posey? This Buster Posey is dirty. I'm definitely gonna get this card and give him a debut. On Thursday, we will be getting a San Diego Studios live stream over on their Twitch channel. Their Twitch page, in case you don't know, is twitch.tv slash Sony San Diego Studio. Uh, it will be probably going live at like 3 p.m. Pacific. That's usually when they uh, do their streams, unless said otherwise. Uh, and they're going to be going over a bunch of different things that's going to be coming out later in the week. More things that I'll talk about in this video. Obviously, we'll get all the information for that stuff on Thursday. But you know, they'll probably have their normal drawings and stuff where you might have a chance to win 65,000 stubs or whatever it is. But in case you guys are not able to watch the stream on Thursday, I will be having videos covering the stream and covering what's coming out on the channel after the stream is up. So uh, feel free to subscribe if you're not going to be able to watch the stream and you can kind of still be notified. Now, what are they going to be talking? Talking about on the stream let's jump into that so on Friday we will be getting the seventh inning program so if you have not gotten the sixth inning program done for either Jackie Piazza or Griffey you got to get that done because it's ending in a couple days now you can still do it once the seventh inning program goes live but it is gonna be a little bit more difficult to do actually it might not even be as difficult this time around because of the signature teams having all the stars attached to that so actually you can probably get it done at any point so basically just disregard what I said but MLB the show has kind of been dropping hints on who one of the bosses is going to be for the seventh inning program and they said like he's stolen over a hundred bags he had five straight seasons with 30 home runs 100 RBIs or whatever and they showed kind of an image of uh, a guy or, or the bottom of a player his like legs wearing pinstripes I think everybody can assume it's probably Jeff Bagwell so Jeff Bagwell will probably be a seventh inning boss which is kind of weird because I when is Pujols coming out I, they're not gonna do two first basemen in one program right so like where the hell is Albert I want Pujols so that is gonna be coming out so if you haven't uh, gotten the voucher yet if that's something you're interested in make sure you do that before the next program comes out because it's gonna be a little bit more expensive when the next one comes out so featured programs make sure to get your voucher done that's the first inning one here we go seventh inning seventh inning has like the galaxy stuff so I don't know if that's gonna do anything but uh, if we take a look at what these cars are going for in the market Jackie is still 
at 133. They should probably all be around 133, to be honest. These are probably, or not probably, these are the most expensive boss cards yet. These guys are really, really pricey. So, anyway, feel free to get the voucher if you're looking for that, if that's something you're going to use. Um, and yeah, the seventh inning comes out on Friday. They're going to reveal it on their stream on Thursday. And like I said, I'll have a video about it. Next up on this Friday, we will also be getting a roster update. We will be getting a attribute roster update, not just transactions and position changes. Player attributes will be changing. So the last roster update was, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. In my experience, probably the worst roster update I've seen in MLB The Show thus far. Not just in 19, but going back to 17 when I really started to paying attention to them. This last roster update was easily the most underwhelming. Not a single player went gold, not a single player went diamond. It's like, dude, we're in September. Like, why are we releasing like really weak roster updates. I don't know. But yes, there will be a roster update this Friday. It will cover attributes as well as transactions and position changes. I will have my roster update prediction video out on Wednesday. So if you guys are looking for investment tips and you know guys to keep your eye out for, uh, Wednesday is when my video will be up. But I kind of say this every week now. You kind of got to do the research on your own if you really want to make a profit on any of these guys. Because if you wait for a YouTuber to release a roster update predictions, a lot of people are going to take those predictions and start investing, which is going to drive the cost up on the market of that specific card. So do your research beforehand and, you know, try to figure out which guys you think might make diamond or gold or whatever and do those too. But if you're interested in who my picks are, Wednesday will be my predictions. Also on Friday, we will be getting the third wave, I guess you could say, the third set of the pennant event. So right now we're on the pennant event two, in case you guys don't know what this second one is all about. Basically, you have to have silver, bronze, or common hitters, and your pitchers have to have 80 walks per nine or common on their card. So pitchers with a lot of control, and then kind of like silver hitters. So interesting event. I don't know. It's cool. I haven't played it yet. I will be playing this on stream, so twitch.tv slash kooks46. Come hang out there throughout the week. I'll be playing this and no money spent and a bunch of stuff. But this will be changing on Friday for the new event, so you need 15 wins if you want to get all four vouchers eligible for this event. If you get all your vouchers, or even if you just get a couple, you should be able to get Sergio Romo from the uh, event collection over here, uh, the pennant event. Yeah, you get six vouchers. You get the 93 overall Sergio Romo for your bullpen so if you're looking for a new bullpen arm that might be a good guy to check out right there and then when the pennant three event comes out that's going to give you an opportunity to get the 97 overall Giancarlo Stanton crazy power obviously pretty good fielding too with 88 arm strength so that card will be available on uh, Friday now let's take a look at what else is coming out on Friday we have the next little piece of signature teams coming out so in case you guys are unaware we got the original set for the play with NL teams, which gave you the 96 overall Jason Kendall. The new one came out with Tory Hunter, the 97 overall. I'm actually going to have a debut with Tory Hunter up on the channel a little bit later today, so feel free to subscribe if you're interested in that. And then on the 13th, which is Friday, we will be getting another signature series card. Um, I don't know if this is going to be like divisions, like, you know, play against National League division guys, and then maybe they'll do the league, and then they'll do the all signature. I don't know. I kind of hope they mix it up with different types of missions instead of just playing games because that can get a little bit boring. Um, it's easy, don't get me wrong, all these games we've played are on veteran, but it just gets a little bit repetitive. So hopefully they kind of change it up a little bit, but they probably already have all the missions planned out and everything. So we'll see what it is, but on Friday we will be getting the next card in the signature series. Uh, team set and uh, hopefully it's a good one and of course last but not least we will be getting new tops now moments on Friday as we always do this is actually probably going to be the last month for tops now moments unless they do tops now moments for the postseason which I don't know if they're going to do or not because they might do a postseason program at some point so I don't know it's kind of uh, hazy but we should be expecting four more good weeks of tops now moments um, yeah and the last four weeks have actually given us a uh, uh, card an actual diamond card instead of just vouchers so hopefully they continue that trend and continue to give us some really cool cards but uh yeah tops now comes out on friday so if you're looking to complete the next player of the month set or just try to get some new tops now cards 
do those moments so that is pretty much it for the content this week so just to recap we got the new headliners which is buster posey and luis gonzalez we got uh, a san diego stream or san diego studio stream coming out on thursday which is going to talk about the other things coming out which is the seventh inning program the uh next set of signature teams tops now moments the pennant race three event and then of course tops uh or i'm sorry the roster update coming out on friday so i'm gonna go ahead and cover all of that stuff on the channel like i said so once again if you want to stay updated on everything going on in MLB The Show, this is the place to be. Make sure to subscribe. But yeah, uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of this Buster Posey and Luis Gonzalez card. That, I want to look at that Posey one more time before we get out of here because that card is actually disgusting. Uh, where is Buster Posey? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Am I missing him? Oh, he's up at the top. I completely went past him. Dirty card, man. I... I you should expect a debut within the next couple days of this card. Anyway, that's going to do it for me, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you found any sort of information out of this, if it helped you in any way, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I'll be live throughout the week playing MLB and doing a lot of cool stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.